page 56 old MacDonald on page 55 we have a new note combination they're showing you and that is in the left hand uh, for the bass clef you already know about an A, F, and you know about an A. Now they're putting them together. So in this position, you're raising the thumb up, lifting, moving it up here, and it's here. That's all. That's it. You see that they're both on lines. I already talked about this. When notes are they're next to each other on lines or next to each other on spaces, there there's one note in between. That's what that is. So, so you can tell real quick there's going to be a, a note in between when you see that kind of, you'll see these patterns, you recognize them. Old McDonald, let's talk about it. 4-4 four, four time, you, there's a repeat sign, treble and bass clef. I keep repeating this, but it's important because it's not always going to be this way. So we'll just get in the habit of looking this over. Right hand first, starting here. So it's one, two, three, three. and then I don't know why they didn't put a rest in that measure. In my opinion, maybe they really should have put a rest in that. They're not putting the rests in the measures where, because this implies that the right hand is going to go down and play these notes in the lower staff. To me, that's what that means. When you leave a measure blank like that, I expect my hand is going to go elsewhere and work. And it doesn't. The left hand's playing that second measure by itself. So in my opinion, we should have a whole rest in that top staff. Rest, and then we're going to rest for one measure, and then the third measure. Second line's the same way, and then the third line. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three. Now we have these eighth notes, one and two and, slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Are you tired of hearing that note yet? I am. That rhythm is important that you get that right. Now I would like to challenge you a little bit on these repeated notes. This is the this measure 11 and 12. They're at the bottom with the eighth notes. I would encourage you to use one and two and repeat this. Start each one with the thumb, so it's one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just so you're not using the same finger all the time. Many times in music, that type of movement will come in really handy. I do not recommend using the same finger. Some teachers teach that you should. You just use the same finger. I don't. I, I disagree with that. When you're going slow, it's not so bad, but if it were a fast piece, and this is a fast piece, that does not work very well. You get tired very quickly using the same finger. It gets, the tension builds up, and we don't want tension playing the piano. We want to stay loose. Left hand. Well, you have rest at the beginning, and then on beat four, you come in here, and then immediately here. So the thumb is, is here. And then again, so the thumb is busy moving around here. is a similar the third line you're not doing much of anything the last line is similar to what we've had that's the left hand put them together here one two three four four one two three you see that go down to the third line where all the eighth notes are one two three and four and Okay, let's try this. Loud. I wouldn't play this piece really loud if there are people around listening to it because this is going to get old real quick to anybody in the area except you. It may even get old to you, but believe me, it'll get old to the people listening a lot quicker. So you decide how loud it is. It is a happy song. You'll have to decide. You got to be accurate with these eighth notes, so don't go beyond that though. Because here it's not easy. You gotta learn.
learn to do that is this bit. You have to look at the keyboard at first. Eventually you want to get to where you can play it without looking. But that's about, you know, that's the speed, I think. Now, you get down to the third line with the eighth notes. If you go that speed... It's even more important that you use two fingers because this is that's I don't recommend it. Anyway, you go ahead and learn this, and then when you're ready, come back and let's play it together slowly and double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm going to give us four counts, and we are going to repeat it. it it's got a repeat sign, so we'll play it twice. One, two, ready. Go. Four. 